This week we highlight another life well lived. On April 13, 1970, an oxygen canister exploded inside the command module on NASA's Apollo 13 mission to the moon, crippling the spacecraft and setting off a scramble back on the ground to save the crew. Uh, this is Houston. Uh, say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. Ed Smiley and his team of engineers in Houston were tasked with solving that problem, working with an inventory of anything the astronauts had in space. And with the clock ticking, Smiley set out to build an air filter that would scrub the module of poisonous carbon dioxide. Smiley and the engineers came up with a design using cardboard, plastic bags, and duct tape. In dramatic moments made famous by the 1995 Academy Award winning movie Apollo 13, Smiley's team on the ground walked the astronauts through that back of a napkin plan. It worked. The makeshift filter gave the astronauts enough clean air and time to splash down safely in the South Pacific. The next day, Smiley and his operations team were lauded by President Richard Nixon and given the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Smiley, a Mississippi native who served in the Navy and later was inspired to work for NASA by President Kennedy's 1962 pledge to send a man to the moon, remained humble to the end about his role in history, saying of the engineering that saved the crew of Apollo 13, it was pretty straightforward. Ed Smiley, a brilliant engineer whose design, developed under extreme pressure, saved three American astronauts. Died last month in Crossville, Tennessee. He was 95 years old. Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget, you can catch the Today Show every morning on NBC or take today when you're on the go. Just follow the Today podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen.